hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we have downloaded these three animations the idle walk and run so now in this video we will be adding these animations to our player okay so whenever the player walks or run we will play these animations accordingly but first let me tell you that the running animation is a little bit slow if we play it okay we don't want the running animation to be this slow okay i have tried adding this animation to my player and it was a bit slow okay so what we will do is i will simply delete this animation this running animation okay then from the mixamo.com website we will download this running animation again so if we search for running okay this was the animation okay let's first of all make this in place then what we will do is we will change the arm space to 60 or let's just say 65 okay now it is good but now as you can notice the player is running a little bit slow so let's increase the override of this running to let's just say 65 okay 65 is a good value as well but let's just make this 70 or actually let's leave this as 65 okay so make the override 65 so that the player run a little bit faster okay you can change these values and try different values okay and then whatever value you like then just simply download that animation but make sure that the format is fpx for unity and the skin is without skin then simply click on download and once it is downloaded simply drag and drop this inside the animations folder okay this is the running animation click on its rig change it to humanoid and then copy from other avatar select the main mesh avatar click apply click on animation drag and drop the player in it okay this is now the animation as you can see it is a little bit faster now okay let's select loop time loop pose select this peg into pose in three of them and then select original in this first and last one and then simply click apply okay just as we did for our other animation in the previous video so now the running animation is faster okay this is the walking animation so now once we have all of the animations what we're going to do now is to create a controller for our animator component of the player okay so inside the animations folder let's click on create animator controller let's name this as player controller okay and then simply click on player drag and drop this controller in there then you can simply double click on it it will open up this animator window if you don't know where to find this animator window then click on windows then animation and then animator right there okay so you can double click on it or you can just select the animator window and click on player and it will open this up okay let's move this entry any state and exit right there and as you know that in the previous parkour game we use a blend tree for our animation so we will be using blend tree in this one as well so right click then create state and inside the create state we have this from new blend tree okay let's name this blend tree as basic movement or basic locomotion okay let's double click on it as you can see this is our blend value which is zero from zero to one okay let's change the name of it to movement value okay this will be our movement value now let's click on blend tree make sure that your blend tree type is also 1d and then let's simply click on this plus sign and add a motion field let's add three motion field like this since we have three animations then you can notice the threshold value which is 0 0 0.5 and 1 okay so when the threshold value is 0 we want to play the idle when it is 0 0.5 we want to play the walk and when it is 1 we want to play running animation okay so at according to that just simply drag and drop the idle okay make sure that you open this animation up like this 
then walk and then running so now if we play the animation and let's try to increase the value if it is 0 0.5 as you can see the player is walking and if it is 1 the player is running okay so when the movement value increases the player will start walking and then running okay and according to this threshold values and let me tell you guys that you can also change these threshold values to your own liking you can just simply uncheck that and change these values okay but since we have just three animations so we will just leave this value as it is so once you have your basic locomotion blend recreated and the movement value float added now what we will do we will now go ahead and apply this animation using script to our player okay and right here make sure that you drag and drop this controller in the animator component okay because many of you guys missed these steps and then you got errors okay so now on the player script what we will do now is right here at the top we will create a header by the name of player animator and then in here we will create a reference to our animator okay so we will say public animator and let's name this as animator as well then right down below we move our player using this movement amount and as you can see this movement amount is mathf.absolute both for the horizontal and vertical movement and this mathf.absolute returns values which are greater than 0 0 0.5 and 1 so since our movement value varies from 0 till 1 okay then we want that movement amount value to be between from 0 to 1 okay so how we will do that for doing that unity provide mathf dot clamp 0 1 okay unity provide this method okay and now this movement amount value will be from 0 to 1 okay since by the name of it uh, which is clamp 0 1 so it means 0 from 1 okay simple as that and once the movement amount is between 0 and 1 now let's add this movement amount value to our movement value right here okay so that the animation changes from idle to walk and then to run so right here we will say animator dot set float since the movement value in the parameters is float okay if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this movement value. This is a float. Okay, so I've shown you its name is movement value. And to this movement value, we will pass the movement amount. Okay, that's it. Save the script. Get back to Unity. Click on player. Right here, just simply drag and drop this animator. Okay and let's simply play the game you will now notice that the player is walking and when we stop the player is in idle and the player is walking again but as you can see the walking speed is a little bit slow okay we don't want that so let's increase the movement speed to five okay so i think five is a good value for this movement as you can see for now we don't have any gravity or collision for our player so as you can see our player is walking in the obstacles as well don't worry we will be adding that okay but now the issue is i think with the player animation for example if we stop you can notice this drag a bit okay when the players stop there is some drag okay or you can say some slip okay so how we will fix this issue for this open up your player script again first of all let's change this movement speed to 5 since we change it in the inspector now in order to fix that issue right here what we want to do is we want some delay between the animations okay so we will add a delay of 0 0.2 seconds okay and then at the end we will say time dot delta time in order to make this time dependent or you can say 
frame dependent okay so just simply do that and guys let me tell you in advance that you can set this value to your own liking okay but for now let's check it on 0 0.2 okay so now if we try to run as you can see now this slip or you can say that drag is a little bit lesser as you can see the player now simply stops as you can see okay so this is really good as you can see the player now just simply stops right there okay and if we stop the game as you can see the moment speed value changes back to four because when we change it to five the game was playing so that value didn't store so now just simply stop the game and change this to five and let's play it again okay so now as you can see the player is running perfectly fine now if you stop as you can see the drag is now a little bit lesser okay so as i told you you can change this that value to your own liking but i think 0 0.2 is a good value as you can see now the player stop perfectly fine so now with this animations added from the upcoming videos we will be adding gravity and collision to our player